this afternoon is from Professor Andreas Reichardt, uh, who started his career actually as an aerospace engineer, received his PhD from Stuttgart University, he's currently a professor of uh, Baden-Württemberg University in Germany. Uh, his area of research, is, as is the topic of his presentation today, is the, uh, the safety handling of rescuers with damaged and electric, electrical and hybrid cars. Thank you very much. My Excellencies, General Rescuers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the invitation here to the Congress. It's a great opportunity for me to present my research area, Safety Alternative Energy Systems. Today's topic is safety handling for rescuers with damaged electrical and hybrid cars. The first slide shows you the project, the research projects from the Fraunhofer Institute that shows a building, a commercial building, complete with dice, a dice 380 volt voltage, where here is the first, the photovoltaic that produces electric energy. Inside in the building are the electric storage, that are car batteries, for example, and outside we have here the electric car, and we have here the wires inside in the building, DC wires. Now, what is the six, what is the six for the rescuers? If we have here an accident or we have um, troubles with the system, we can here disconnect the internal wires of the house. There is no problem. But the photovoltaic on the roof, for example, produces electricity power when the sun is shining. So that is the first case. What in a trouble of cases the uh, uh, rescuers must take over. The second thing is the big energy storage systems in the houses. That is also a part for the rescuer. In my thing here, the case two. And today on that congress is the case three, as the electric cars. What I presented today. So we have here a proposal three for rating the diagnosis of battery safety and transportation possibility. So the firefighters come to an accident and they find a car. They can identify the car. Which car is it? We have today rescue cars from the car manufacturer. We have today rescue um, handbooks for the uh, rescuers. We have the, the colleague telling HVU uh, Globus. And we have, um, we have uh, the disconnector. With the disconnector, we can um, disconnect the uh, battery, the energy to the, to the wires in the car. That is what we have today. My research project we developed together with a fire a fighting team in Eckersel, that is located in Germany, new concept for the new next generation of cars. So I show you here the option one or the option E. The three topics are status, equipment, activity, and staff who do it. The staff at an at accident, the institutions are the police, the firefighters, and the town service or the car service come to the location of the accident. That are the institutions here who comes. The first thing is the car battery, the status car battery communication mechanically intact and functional. That is a really low level emergency crash. For example, a wheel is defect. So we have here, we see here, the development is called a BCU, as a battery control unit. We contact the battery and we read out the status of the battery. Is the battery defect? Has the battery inside shot cut? Is it going to go up the battery? Will be more. If the battery is completely intact, we see it has no malfunction, we then we get a confirmation to transport two drugs or zero key. Also the car survey, so uh, the auto uh, the auto tower can transport the car to the next car service. So the next level is here the level B. What we developed, that is here called the BDU, Battery Control and Discharging Unit. We have the possibility to discharge the battery at the accident location, that we reduce it here, internal shortcuts. We must control at this discharging, discharging process the battery, then we can safety discharge, we can increase the battery safety. So you see here the firefighting team with a heater, we have here a heater with 60 kilowatt power. For example, if you have a, a battery with a capacity with 20 kilowatt hours, 
we can um, discharge that battery in 20 minutes. So. We need here for the camp communications that is needed for the control the discharge process. So you hear many details. You see here the glowing heater. And we have here a fan. The fans are standard on the trucks for the firefighters. And we can hear cooling that um, discharge unit. Here is the laptop where we have the communication to the battery where we control that discharge process. So here is a training. Here is the car. We have the communication and we build up here that uh, um, HVU wires to the, to the car and here is a special firefighter troop. Um, Baden-Württemberg implemented that troop for three years, special for that uh, HVU systems for solar panels and uh, storage systems and electrical lines. Here are internal set control unit. We have here a control and control it, um, emergency switch, or switch and inside set relays or switches to um, control that discharge process. The next is, so we go from the security level higher. We have problems with the, um, with the battery. The battery is mechanically not intact. Impossible outgassing of hydrogen fluoric. We have here a measuring devices to measure the gas. If we have here hydrogen fluid in the gas by the outgassing process. The next one, we have not a communication to the battery, to the battery management system. We don't know what the battery is doing. Maybe the firefighting team is evacuated persons at that level, and you must know what the battery is doing. You can hear with that heating devices, measuring devices, controlled outside the case's battery temperature or the battery container temperature. So, the last one is the critical. We have here a massively mechanical damage. Uh, no, sorry. We have here fire on the battery. Also, we have smoke or fire, visible appearant. The car has fire. So it comes here special um, agent, um, existing agent, for example, water called fire or F500, what the car manufacturer described here in his rescue pods. At the last, we have a massively damaged, the car is completely destroyed. We have maybe we have parts of batteries on the street and we need a special equipment box to transport the things back to the bus service. Thank you very much and please any questions. Any questions at all for Professor Fabio? Thank you. Uh, one of the concerns actually regarding the uh, most, uh, hazard uh, situation is the floods. When the flood happened or the uh, contact uh, uh, the uh, cars, uh, hybrid or electric vehicles with, with water. Yeah. What, what, what's the risk? Uh, uh, maybe we will we'll look up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, water, um, if the container is if the, uh, the good question, if the container is closed and the temperature goes up, you can cool it in the battery outside this water. The other thing is that if the container is open and the, um, you see uh, looking the modules inside in the cells and maybe you come with water, it could be critical. Lithium in water is not the best friend. So it, it seems counterintuitive that we use water to put out a fire on, a, on, a, on an electrical battery. As an electrical battery is immer good for the safety of the battery is cold. Cold, okay, cold. So cooling the cool battery is every time good. If the battery goes up in the, in the temperatures, it will be critical. If the container is closed, we heard in a presentation before, you have a diving test with the container, they can dive. Um, for example, the regulation, half hour, one meter, 
the, so you can cool the battery, but if the container or the containment outside is broken and you see the modules inside that the cells. I can ask a question about when you're working with fire police rescue teams, yeah. and starting to first work with fire police rescue teams, what were the sort of questions they had for dealing with electrical or battery uh, incidents versus normal vehicle fires or incidents? What the first question was, um, was an interesting question. So you have not so much, they are not so worried about the electrical cars. They are more worried about that stationary um, batteries in the house. The house battery is direct located to the, to the wires. You get massively power and you have little room. And when the gas comes out, you need the masks and all, and you must go out in that little room where the big battery is. When it comes to an, to an accident, you can go around, you're looking where the wire comes, where the smoke go away. You can come with, if you can evacuate the peoples. You can come with much water, maybe the car broke down. Yeah, so that is not the risk, but if you must go in the house, you need the house if it back is make trouble, that is for the rescuers or a, or a large shop like for the electric Okay, that's interesting. So, so, so batteries in cars are easier to deal with than batteries in, in houses. And, and today, today is a big car manufacturer who, um, who in the market for the house batteries. Tesla go in the market with, uh, with Powerwall, Mercedes also, and BMW is with solar, but in the market. They go up with the, with the crew and the batteries, they have two, two market chances for the house applications and for the cars. Okay, interesting. Any other questions for Professor Andreas? Yes, definitely. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, just a question on connecting your discharge unit to the damaged car. So is it uh, an issue where to place some special discharge connector that, and, and so on? Is it a dialogue with the car manufacturer in general? Uh, that, is a, that is a good question. If the car is too damaged, we need, we need a, 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 a port, that's a, a high voltage port to connect it. If the high voltage port is, is not but, uh, able to disassemble it, to connect it, we cannot make it. If the damage is too high, we cannot get damage, uh, we cannot discharge. That discharge unit is uh, uh, equipment for low accidents. If you have a really massive damage, um, that is too much risk to uh, discharge it. You would know if you have internal shortcuts in the cell. Thank you. Any other final questions? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.